share this video all over the people's internet. Tell your friends to go and view and like the Electrifying People's WWE page, Team Bring It, and WWN World Wrestling Network on Facebook. Tell them to add me on Facebook at Richard J. Pate. And always follow me on Twitter at with Rock Pate, hashtag with the Rock, and send me a tweet. Because this is the number one super terrific and electrifying people's WWE channel. So, go check out all my other videos, my videos previous to this one, and leave your comment below. Check out that description and smash that people's bell to get all my notifications. Because I am your host, Rick The Rock. And we are on the raw road to fast lane. Um, and this is your raw review. Before I get into my review, uh, Chavo Guerrero Senior or Chavo Classic has died. So that's unfortunate news. Uh, so I hope the Guerrero family are coping well. Also, I have watched another film starring wrestlers surfs up to wave mania starring john senior the undertaker triple h page and vince mcmahon that's a good film so on monday night raw there was pyro stiff man came out and talked then roman reigns did then the club did uh so don't know really much we said there but this led to a match in a fresh match in a handicap match Roman Reigns beat the club to Luke Gallows and Collinson by DQ. Uh, this club to continue to make women look strong heading into fast lane. In singles action, Kofi Kingston beat Bo Dallas. Again, not much, not much to be said here. At WWE Fast Lane, it will be in a fresh match Neville versus Jack Gallagher for the Cruiser Weight title and speaking to Jack Gallagher in a fresh match on Raw he beat Noam Dar so I'll take Bill's momentum for Jack Gallagher heading into Fastlane and then Neville came out Emmalina came out talking Emery's back uh, but uh, she did say it's a makeover from Emma to Emmalina they need to be uh, Emmalina to Emma so I don't know what's going on there I suppose we'll find out. In another fresh match, Braun Strowman beat the world's worst strongest his man, Mark Henry. So, yeah, going for Braun there. That builds on something for him heading into WWE Fastlane. And then Roman Reigns came out and Braun beat him up. So that hypes up their match. Michael Cole did a sit-down interview with Samoa Joe. Yeah, that was good. In a singles match, the underdog of the underground, Sami Zayn, beat Rusev. So, going for Rusev there. Then Samoa Joe came out and attacked Sami Zayn after the match. Uh, so, I presume they'll have a match next week on Raw. Not sure. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The player, Teddy Long, will be going to the WWE Hall of Fame. Um... Personally, I don't think Teddy Long deserves it. Uh, he was an alright general manager during the sports. Technically, the first ever referee to be going into the Hall of Fame. But okay. Akira Tozawa beat Aria Davari in the fresh match. Uh, Brian Kendrick was on commentary. I did think they'd only use Akira once. Um, you're using now and again when he's needed, like they're doing with Tajiri. But okay. It was the Festival of Friendship. Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens came out talking. Uh, Chris presented Kevin with a, a sculpture and an art picture. He also brought in, in the ring uh, a magician called F Friendship. Uh, and then Gilberg came out. Gilberg ret returned to Raw. Uh, and then Kevin beat him up. And then Kevin beat up Chris Jericho, that's right, the friendship's over. Uh, so it was a decent segment then, I presume it's 
few reasons. One, to build up the match for WrestleMania. Uh, I presume Kudrick didn't lose the US title to Sami Zayn. That's the rumours. And it's also something Goldberg can beat Kevin Owens clean and without the help of saying Chris Drunk all that helping Kevin Owens to win. WrestleMania is just 47 days away. In another fresh match in singles action, Cesaro beat Enzo Amore. Not really much we said there. Next week in a fresh match, it will be Braun Strowman versus the Giant, the Big Show. In just a second. And your main event on Monday Night Raw. The Hugger, Bailey, beat Charlotte and is a brand new WWE Raw Women's Champion. So a huge win, a big win for Bailey there. Uh, but I do feel that she's going to lose the title back to Charlotte at Fastlane. Uh, and they could have saved this win for WrestleMania. So Bailey could have had a WrestleMania moment. But okay, it was an alright Raw and I give it five and a half rock bottoms out of ten. I will be doing my NXT review as well as Smackdown Live and 205 Live review. Get checking both of those out. For now, like and subscribe if you smell what Rick the Rock is cooking.